Hi, my name is Franco Tanelli, and this is Science of Singing. We all know that young and experienced vocalists complain, often inwardly, even after great vocal technique explanations, that they don't really get it. Then they go reading the smart vocal books and get more and more confusion. Then, if they can afford, they go to celeb teachers taking one or two lessons with them and still don't get it. As we see, external knowledge coming from books or teachers seem to be incomplete. Uh, and this comes out of general misunderstanding. The learning process as a process within, expanding from you to the world. And I can give you the examples and saying of the great thinkers of the 20th or 21st century that I respect, starting with Jiddu Krishnamurti about education, going on Noam Chomsky and uh, the musician Frank Zappa, are just the few of the personalities that greatly oppose today's system of education, which is indoctrination rather than education. Touching generally in this, you have to understand how it also touches us as a singers. And uh, we as a singers, we cannot be fooled by just simply memorizing things and passing exams. We have to do the real business. We have to sing. So singer it cannot just take some knowledge and internalize it unless he feels it, unless he senses it. And this is very important. Singer's task is to understand himself through the help of external tools like teacher, recordings, even some books, reading, and becoming the master of his own body and sensations, internalizing this objective outcome through his personal private set of sensations. You know, without your private set of sensations, you're never going too far. You live by your teacher's sensations or by what the great singer said or the great book says about your sensations. There are all approximate or even false for you personally. Reading books, changing teachers, taking smart advice may confuse more and more if the student is trying to grasp whatever he is said to believe outwardly. This is true not only in vocals, but in any kind of knowledge we get in school. But it's easier to cheat in other disciplines if they require just memorization and not deep understanding. Today, unfortunately, we have lack of substance. As French say, partout, everywhere. We have coffee without caffeine, beer without alcohol, sex without love, and we can go on and on, and at last we have a singer who doesn't understand neither his voice nor its purpose and wants without self-questioning an external force like teacher's books to give him or her that complete explanation, I can say, looking for an ideal teacher who can put it all for you, just on a plate. Those singers who are looking for that type of ideal teacher will never become great singers, I guarantee. They will never become great singers if they don't understand that responsibility for success lies on them too. When student stops being a vocal baby, only then he has a chance to success or he has a chance to succeed. I noticed that those students of mine who came to me after a certain self-search learned much faster, I repeat, much faster than those who came to a maestro. And let's touch a little bit on authority. Of course, an authority can play a positive role and can play a negative role. Let's talk about the negative role. The authority requires no questioning. And therefore, even with an intelligent student who has some ideas, is suppressing inner search. So the authority suppresses your inner search. In this case, this is entire fault of a teacher. Entire fault of the teacher. On the other hand, if a student encouraged by a teacher um, to self-search, neglects it, and says, no, 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 I want this teacher who gives me everything on the plate, then this is a student's fault, no doubt. 
I always call for self-search and experimentation. Of course, you have to be cautious. I mean, when you experiment with your voice, I never encourage my own students to experiment with, with extreme notes. I always encourage them to understand and sense their own voice, their own way. And as a teacher, I want you to tell me how do you feel, how do you sense it, and not how you're supposed to feel, interpreted by external object, could be teacher or the book or just a vocal advisor. Open your inner eyes and sensations. Thank you very much. There was Franco Tonelli. Until next time.